Welcome back, Gunderson Health System Dr. Sam Steady Doc joins us today to talk about CPR and EAD training. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. So why is stuff like CPR training so important? Well, it's very important because the faster you get to a person that doesn't have a pulse and start chest compressions, the more the chance that they're going to come out of this with good outcomes and come back alive. Do we see, a can anyone kind of do some of these things if they find someone in a public place that can they absolutely, help out? Absolutely, absolutely. That's why the public needs to be aware of what to do when you find somebody unconscious, not responding, you check for a pulse and breathing for about 10 seconds, you find none. We want people to start doing CPR and call for help. So by the time EMS arrives, you would have done a valuable service to the individual that's unconscious at that point. So explain a little bit what we have here. Sure, so I have a defibrillator that I brought along and these, this, these are automated devices and these should be available in public places, even a smaller version of this in fact, should be available in public places like airports and gatherings and stadiums. In fact, we do lend these out when we have local county fairs, etc. So what you do is turn it on, it's a rechargeable one, once this is turned on, it will start giving you instructions what to do next. These are the patches that you put on the chest of the person that is not responsive, and this will start analyzing if they need a shock, and it will deliver one. So it's a fairly simple device for people to use, and, and it doesn't require a lot of training, correct? You're right. That's why these are called automated defibrillators. Once you turn it on, it will walk you through the steps as what needs to be done with the device. All right. Well, thank you for bringing this in. It's a lot of uh, valuable information for people to know. You're welcome. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll be right back after the break.